Last night we preached about Peter walking on the water and Peter didn't have no word. Peter was going down, took his eyes off of God, put him on the problem. He was going down and all Peter said was, Lord, save me. I wish I had somebody in here that knew that grandma was right. If you have a little talk with Jesus, he'll make it all right. Those kids won't seem to get together. But if you learn how to talk to God, God will fix it. You send them to school in the morning and you worry it all day long whether or not the teacher's going to call you. I tell you, put it in the Lord's hand. You got your health. You're doing the best you can. And you don't know how you're going to get well. Put it in the Lord's hand. Bills are due. Bill collectors are calling. And you don't know what's next. Put it in the Lord's hand. And I tell you what, God will give you grace. I wish I had some grace recipients in here that know that grace can fix your problem. Grace can turn it around. God said, if my eyes are on the sparrow and I'll take care of the sparrow, then surely I'll take care of you. Hey! If God can clothe the grass green, paint the sky blue, make the clouds white and gray, make the sunflower yellow, and make the daffodil sway, make the violent violent, then surely God will take care of you. Yes, he will. You got to learn how to pray. You got to learn how to pray. You, what you've been going through right now, just so that God could get you closer to him. You got caught up in church work. You got caught up in, in, the, in the name and, and you got caught up in the culture of church. You got caught up in the trend of church. But sometimes God has to separate church religion from you so he can get your relationship. Sometimes God has to peel back the layers so you can remember what it was that you had when you first got saved. Sometimes God has to pull me all the way out and put me all the way in the back just so I can remember why I got saved. Oh, oh. Oh, I get it now. I remember it's not about this. It's not about that. But it was about a Calvary's hill that he died for my sins. I was a mess, wretch, undone. But that's why he saved me. Hey. Hey. Hallelujah. Glory. He separated them. Reminds me of something the little league coaches used to tell us. Stay long. No matter how big you are, stay low. No matter how much money you have, stay low. How many degrees you got, stay low. If you stay low, you can move some stuff. I am not hearing me. You missed that. That went right over your head. Stay humble. I don't care what it is you have. Stay humble. Lord, I didn't plan my life on my own. I'm letting you plan it out for me. I may be able to have this and that, but you know what? Unless the Lord build the house, they that labor, labor in vain. Unless the Lord watch the city, they that watch, watch in vain. And that's the problem with us. When we didn't have nothing, we stayed low. We were humble. We prayed. The minute God blessed us, we got up beside ourselves, held our heads up, walked around with our chest out, and now we're back down again. I'm telling you, if the Lord raise you up, stay low. Keep God first. Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God, all his righteousness, and all these other things shall what? Be added unto you. Look at somebody and just tell them, stay low. Stay low. Because I found out if you can't make yourself stay low, God has a way of getting you low. Can I get any help here? Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Ah, oh, the scripture says, if you humble yourself, you'll be exalted. If you exalt yourself, you'll be a base. I don't care what you have, what you've accomplished, what they're saying about you, stay low. I'm nothing without God. Stay low. 
Bella told me, he said, man, you so-and-so and so and you're preaching. You, you the so I said, no, 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 no. I'm staying low because I know if it wasn't for the grace of God, wouldn't be here. I, oh, you didn't hear what I just said right there. I'm saying that I know that I've done some things that could have messed me up. But God, his grace, his mercy is approving. Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. I didn't deserve this here. I didn't earn this here. But it was God's grace. Get cinnamon. Pressing prayer. But not only that, it is a place of problems. Somebody is in get cinnamon now. You are in a place of problems. Every time you turn around, you got folk that were, the disciples are supposed to be praying, they're sleeping. They're sleeping, they're praying, they're sleeping. You go back, you talk to them, look, why aren't you praying for me? They got tired, they're sleeping. Right then, Jesus knew that the thing he had to do, nobody could help him do it. I just told you something, the thing that's on your plate, that you've been looking for help, why won't you help me? Why won't you help me? Give me a break. I come to tell you, like the man that was at the pool of, of Bethesda waiting for 38 years for somebody to put him in the water when the angel troubled the water. Jesus asked him, do you want to get well? He said, nobody's here to put me in. And Jesus didn't ask him, was there anybody there to put you in? Do you want to get well? The point is, the only way you're going to survive what you're in and accomplish what's in front of you is through Jesus and Jesus alone. You have stepped into a dimension where man cannot help you. You have stepped into a dimension where it is up to God and you to work this thing out. You on your own now and you better learn how to talk to God because your help David said I lift my eyes to the hills from which cometh my help and my help comes from the Lord. Slap somebody and say you and God are going to have to do it from here. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. You know a lot of folks that could have given you a job, but they didn't. You know a lot of folks that could have opened doors, but they didn't. You know why they didn't do it? Because God wouldn't let them do it. This time, God wants you to get close to him. There's a breaking in your cinnamon. There's a crushing in your cinnamon. It's time for you to fall on your face and go to God and say, Lord, here I am. Turn it around. Turn it around. Fix it, Lord. Here I am. <laughs> 